Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Halen, otherwise known as the Battle of the Silver Helmets between Belgium and Germany, which began on August 12, 1914, located at the river crossing at Halen, Belgium. General George von der Marwitz was in command of the German 2nd Cavalry Corps, approximately six regiments consisting of 4,000 cavalry and 2,000 infantry. This was one of many cavalry units that were formed in August of 1914 in preparation for the war. General Marwitz was ordered to scout out Charleroi, Antwerp, and Brussels and had found the area empty of enemy soldiers by the end of August 7th. Marwitz advanced north, unknowingly towards the Belgian cavalry in the area of Deest. On August 11th, the Belgians had spotted the Germans and made preparations to block the German force. The Belgian troops, commanded by Lieutenant General Leon de Witt, was in charge of guarding the bridge over the river Goethe at Halen. While he waited, his staff convinced General de Witt to engage the Germans in a dismounted fight, meaning having his troops not ride their horses and not risk them. Instead, they would perform like standard infantry. This protected his men and horses more physically and allowed them to engage without risking more losses, since the defense would not require the speed that horses would give. In fact, General de Witt stationed a battalion of bicycle infantry, and you heard that, bicycle infantry, and dismounted cavalry behind the village of Halen in case it was captured. General Marwitz had been delayed until August 12th due to the fatigue of the hot summer heat and a shortage of votes for his horses. The 2nd Cavalry Division underneath Marwitz was led by Major General von Crane and the 4th Cavalry Division under Lieutenant General Otto von Garnier. Both divisions advanced ahead of the main troops. German scouts came under fire from Belgian troops that had set up a fortified position in a Halen brewery but the Belgians unfortunately had to pull out when the German artillery started attacking back. While the Belgian engineers themselves had partially destroyed the bridge over the Goethe earlier, it was not enough to keep the German forces from using what remained to cross. There, the Germans had found that the Belgians were hidden in a defensive line that only gave the Germans partial view of them across the cornfield. In order to defeat the Belgians, Marwitz ordered the 17th and 3rd Cavalry Brigades to move up and assist the other German forces. This allowed the Germans to bring up enough artillery to the edge of the village to be effective against the Belgians. In the end, unfortunately for the Germans, none of this was effective enough to get them across the cornfield successfully. The Germans attempted repeatedly to cross the fields and were repulsed with heavy casualties each time. By the end of the day, the Germans had pulled back to secure areas to try a different route. The Germans lost a total of 1,050 casualties in the field. These casualties included 150 dead, 600 wounded, and two to 300 prisoners. Cavalry units for the Germans lost more than 500 horses in the fight. In turn, the Belgians had about 1,122 casualties, including 160 dead, 320 wounded, and 642 captured or missing, but they kept the field and they had stopped the German push. The Battle of Halen also became known as the Battle of the Silver Helmets because of the many silver cavalry helmets left behind on the battlefield by the German cavalry troops. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War. 